Okay, so back in December of 2023, um, Somerset Wildlife Trust launched the first Somerset State of Nature report. Um, and, um, and basically that was to try and provide um, a snapshot of how biodiversity, how nature is doing across the county. Um, and it was looking at data, habitat, species and trends to try and paint a picture. Unfortunately, what it has shown to us is that over the last 30 years, we've seen a dramatic decrease in species across the county and also the quality of our habitats. Just to give you some examples around that, we've seen a huge decrease in habitat. So for example, grasslands, which is our most common habitat, that's declined by 5%, in some areas as much as 11%. We've seen decreases in insects, which are sort of fundamental for nature across the county. Um, for example, butterfly populations, some species have declined by up to 60%, and we've seen declines in some of our important bird species. So for example, wetland birds like um, lapwing. So there's some really, really big factors that are affecting it over the last 30 years. Um, changes in land management has been quite a critical one, um, sort of intensification of farming and increases in development and infrastructure, that's had a huge impact. Um, things like pollution of air and water, that's had an impact as well. Um, the biggest thing really though in the most recent years has been actually climate change and the impacts of climate change. So, so there are some positives around this. In fact, you know, w where we are today, we're in a fantastic wildlife habitat that's been created by Somerset Wildlife Trust and partners. We can restore nature, and that's what we need to do over the future, is actually improve habitats, create more space for nature, and deliver a nature recovery plan. And what that will do is it will identify where our current habitats and our important places for nature and species are, and show where we need to build and connect that nature recovery network and create a nature recovery network right across the county. So my name is Sophie Laurie, and I work for the Somerset World Left Trust. I've been working for the Trust for about two years now, and my role is I'm Head of Innovation and Evidence in the World Left Trust, so I manage the teams that collect all the information and data um, on the natural environment in Somerset. I'm also working on building partnerships with academic research institutions to try and um, bring better information and evidence to our work, the work that we do. So citizen science is uh, where members of the general public, essentially anybody, can get involved in collecting data and information about the natural world. An app that we particularly use with Wildlife Trust is called iNaturalist and you download that app um, and register on the system. You can then go when you go out for a walk anywhere, whether it be on a nature reserve like this or if you're, even in your back garden, you can use the app to photograph and capture images of plants and animals. Those then get uploaded to iNaturalist and identified by others if you don't know what they are already. But you could also get much more involved by getting involved by uh, working with universities, with research projects and doing some more dedicated work around this. And you could also similarly work with Wildlife Trust on things like um, we do regular counts, we do frog and toad spawn counts, we do bird counts. So there's lots of, if you signed up to our website, you could see um, how to gather information which all contributes to what we're trying to do as a trust. So the data uh, are uploaded into systems, so we, are, we either use the apps like iNaturalist to capture the data for us, or with, with the specialist groups very often we have paper records which we then have to put into our systems. Uh, in Somerset we have the Somerset Environmental Record Centre which captures all the data about Somerset. This is incredibly useful to us um, because we do a Somerset State of Nature report every year. Um, and this allows us to see trends in terms of how uh, nature is improving or declining. We also use the data to help inform us how to make changes to our management practices so we can look at changing the way that we do things like, for example, working with dormice, monitoring levels of populations, managing the land in a particular way and then looking at whether that improves the numbers. It helps us to make uh, really good decisions about how we manage and monitor our land. In the UK 
okay, there's been a massive reduction in knowledge about nature and we know that our children aren't growing up knowing the names of common plants and, and birds and animals anymore. But we've never had more knowledge at our fingertips because we've got AI on apps, we've got the internet, there's bookshops full of natural history books. So you don't need to have any specialist knowledge to get started. You can get out and you can challenge yourself to just learn say five plant species or get to know a few different butterfly species and that's a really great place to start. And using apps like iNaturalist, they'll even give you a helping hand in identifying what's in front of you. There's loads of groups and in Somerset we're really lucky because we've got some brilliant specialist groups. We've got the botany group, the bat group, the mammal group and they're full of experts who are really enthusiastic about their subject and will help you get to know the species that are around you. There's also projects like the Somerset Wildways that are all about encouraging people who haven't got to know nature yet to learn how to use apps like iNaturalist and get to know what's on their doorstep. So as I said, there's loads of resources on the internet, but a really good place to start is the Somerset Wildlife Trust website, where we've got a whole page on citizen science and all the different resources that you need to get started.